Hi guys, I'm Dimension Jump, and today we're doing my top 5 least favourite Legend of Zelda minigames. Now, uh, minigames in the Legend of Zelda series um, are not optional, uh, you, you, can, you can do them, uh, like, you know, whenever you want, uh, and you can, and they can be only activated, like, within certain parts of the, of the, of the games, and i just be going over some of the game, mini games that I really don't find interesting, and I don't really have a lot of good things to talk about, so, uh, yeah, for number five, it's the Cuckoo mini game from The Legend of Zelda The Twilight Princess. Now, this mini game is basically, uh, you, uh, you talk to, to these two clowns, uh, one of them, uh, ha is basically the head of this, uh, cannon thing, and then the second one is basically the, the main person to, 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 to talk to, and that that kind of costs rupees, um, well, uh, quite a lot of rupees, I can't exactly remember how much, um, but altogether, it, both together, uh, they do cost a lot of rupees, unless you warp to Lake Hylia, like the bridge, like Hi Lake Hylia Bridge, that's quite close to where the uh, uh, second clown is, and you basically have to take a cuckoo and basically fly it, uh, fly with it to, uh, to to these chests, and you basically have to uh, land, I think, on the on the rotating top one to get a heart piece. And what I find about find annoying about this mini game is that you have to be quite precise when landing on the particular pa platforms that you want to land on, because it kind of goes from like you know, uh, it basically goes from smaller to larger, and as the smaller ones, I think that have the better prizes. And what I quite find about or quite annoying about this is that you have to spend rupees. If you miss the one you're looking for, you then have to go back uh, to the clown uh, at the cannon and then go and talk to the other clown once you've landed at the hut. And it's just, it just spends a lot of rupees and it just makes a pretty much big dent in your wallet. So yeah, that's why I kind of quite find it annoying. So yeah, for number four, is the Archery Range uh, mini game within The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now, what I find annoying about this mini game is mainly the controls, because uh, the, the Archery mini Shooting mini game uh, can be played twice, the first time being Young Link with a slingshot, and the second time being Adult Link with a bow and arrow. And the controls are it kind of what kills the mini game for me. Mainly because um, the controls are a bit sensitive. So, for example, if because uh, basically you basically have to shoot at rupees, uh, like a couple of like you know red rupees, green rupees, and blue rupees, and you basically have to try and make sure to like hit every single one to get like I think more slingshot ammo and more uh, bow and arrow am uh, bow and arrows, or I think an extra quiver. And yeah, it's just I think it's like if you if you use the controls too much one way, it'll go like far off to the left or far off to the right or something like that. And it's just it's just really not fun. Like you know, because of the controls, it's it's okay, but not. But it's all the controls that slightly ruin it for me. So yeah, for number three is the bug catching mini game from the Legend of Zelda: Skyward Sword. Now. This mini game can be found inside the Thunderhead, and what I don't like about this mini game is that you're giving a given amount, a certain amount of time, and I think six bugs, six or eight bugs to find. Um, and what I find, what I kind of quite find annoying about this mini game is that if you're finding one of them, let's say you're finding um, a blessed a butterfly or something, um, and if you if you find one and you try and catch it, it might fly away, and that might lower your chances of finding another one. And then you might have to restart the mini game, or if you do find one, it might add extra, like you know, a few extra minutes to your overall time, and that means you'll get less prizes, or the prizes will be less, um, like you know, well known. I, th I think one of the prizes I think is a heart piece. I think. Um, and also, there's a, um, there's part of the mini game in which you have to get Beedle's prized bug back uh, if you want to get gratitude crystals from Beedle. So yeah, for number two 
is the uh, clown roulette wheel, again from the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Now, what I don't like about this mini game uh, is that uh, it's basically chance, and chance can be quite annoying at times because basically what you have to do is basically you're fired out from a cannon in the centre of the island, and, and which can be found like you know in the overworld in the one of the massive uh, islands which is quite near to the Lenewa region uh, barrier and you can only activate this quest um, once you've collected the clown yet, yet another clown's um, pinwheel thing and as I said before you're shot, shot out of this um, uh, cannon and then you basically have to glide down or fall down um, to the platform and whichever um, part you land on is whatever, the amount of rupees you either win or lose because there are like some places where you might get 20 rupees, 5 rupees, um, 100 rupees, that sort of thing but if you want to get the heart piece you have to go through 5 different things uh, I think with the with like the clown's like happy face on it but if you hit uh, any of the balloons that have the clown's face that's sad or angry looking um, the whole uh, wheel uh, restarts because if you go through uh, one of the uh, rings uh, the the wheel um, gets slower and then you get more cho choice to like land on the spot you want and for this instance it's the multicolored uh, spot because that that will give you a lot of rupees and a, and a harpies so yeah, and it's kind of annoying because you, you have to have to go to a specific angle um, to, uh, to go through all five rings. If you miss one, that's pretty much the mini game lost. You have to do it again, and until it's it's really really annoying, and I just don't really like it that much. It's just kind of annoying mini game. And for number one is the bird fruit flying mini, mini game from again the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Now, what I find the most annoying about this mini game is that you have to really concentrate uh, on this mini game because basically, uh, what you do is that you have to turn into Wolf Link and summon um, a bird, and then so then you can like fly it towards the waterfall that will take you up stream of like Hylia, and you basically have to hit all these different fruits, and if you get a certain high score, you get a heart piece, and. It's just, it's, it's just, it's basically the motion control aspect of the thing, um, because this Twilight Princess was released before Skyward Sword, and that means like you know Twilight Princess didn't have the control, same controls as um, Skyward Sword, in which uh, if you swung your sword in Skyward Sword, then it would follow you, and uh, in Twilight Princess, it would kind of do the same thing, but not as you know. Um, close to Skyward Sword, and what I don't like about the mini game is that you have to use the uh, analog stick and try, like you know, be precise and like yeah, you have to basically have to think of where the bird is going to go and how it's going. Unlike in Skyward Sword, when you're using the Wii Remote, you know where the bird is going to go because you're moving not only like you know your hand but also your wrist and also seeing where uh, your loft wing is going. But for Twilight Princess and for that particular mini game. It's just using your analog stick, and you don't know 100% of the time where the bird is going to go until you know, like, until you hit into a wall or something, and you need to restart the entire mini game again. Uh, and yeah, so yeah, that's been my top five uh, least favorite uh, Legend of Zelda mini games. I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.